Regarded by many as a springbok who never played test rugby because of the racial laws of the past, Ngongi rose to prominence on his debut for the South African Rugby Association team against France in 1975 in East London. His performance earned him an invitation to play for the world team against the French in Paris. And we must say a big thank you to the French people who at least recognized his talents because he was a brilliant center. He had the speed, he had the ability, he could read games and the way he conducted himself on and off the field was an example to every human being around him. At the time of his death, he was the president of his childhood club, Star of Hope. He played all his rugby under the club's banner. Under his guidance, the club reached the semi-finals of the Eastern Cape Super League last season. And he was able to tackle, no matter how, how huge you are. He, was, he could tackle, no matter how huge you are. And he could bypass you if he wants to. Those are the things that, that saw Timothy imagine as a great player in, in South Africa. He was, he was a brilliant player. He knows how to, to, to start move. Not on the middle of the field, you must start to move. You must start to move in 25 meters. Then you see, see start of hope. They say skip one, skip two, skip three. Ngongi leaves behind his wife and six children. Their funeral date will be announced soon. Tabo Daniels, SABC News, Utenik.